In this video we're getting into the business end of things now with our model train and we're starting to create a few harder parts. Uh, the one we're making today is the wheel for the train. You can see this is what it's going to look like. Hey, pretty boring on the back, not much to it, but the front does look pretty cool. It's got a bit going on. This little knob up here, if you're wondering what that is, that is used to connect the linkage arm up on the wheel um, on the same side as the train. Remember there's two wheels on the side of the train and the linkage arm is going to connect those two wheels so they turn at the same time and at the same speed. So this is what we're making, a little bit harder than our previous tutorials, so let's get into it. We'll see if we can knock this over quickly. We'll go up to the file menu today to start and make a new document up. Using a metric template, we'll make a standard millimeter inventor part. We'll begin by making a 2D sketch on the XY plane. So make sure you're on the XY plane. Just move that center point out of the way for the moment. And I want you to start by drawing with your line tool today. Now we're just going to draw a shape. doesn't matter what size this shape is yet. So just come down. I guess it's going to be like a little bridge, if anything. I just want you to watch me draw it Oops. first, and then you can copy. I might just keep these lines straight, though. We don't want any bent lines, so they need to be perfectly straight. There we go. That's the shape I want you to draw. Okay, so use your line tool now to draw that shape for me. Once you've drawn that shape, we're going to dimension it. Okay, and to get it dimension, we're going to use a construction line to help us out. So grab your line tool again and just turn on construction lines. And I want you to draw a construction line running down the center axis there. Doesn't matter how big, as long as it's taller than your shape. Press escape once you've drawn it and you should have the dashed yellow line running down the middle there. Okay, remember this doesn't appear in our final design. It's just here to help us out with our dimensioning. So let's grab our dimension tool now and start um, dimensioning the shape. First thing I want to do, these two blocks here, or sides of the shape, sorry, need to be 3mm in size. So just click on one of them, drag across, and type 3 and press enter. Okay, and already your shape's getting a bit smaller. Next thing we need to do is click on this side here and this top side here and make them 3 millimeters as well. We've got another 3 millimeter gap coming up down in between this side and this side here, so make them 3 millimeters for me. Um, they're looking pretty good now, so what we're going to do is click on this top left hand corner. Remember, not one of the sides, it's that very corner and come and click on our construction line. And the distance between that corner and the construction line needs to be 25 mil. Okay, it might move the construction line off the center axis there, but that's fine. Uh, down in this corner here, zoom in a little bit so you can see this a bit better, just down here on the bottom, click on that corner, come over to the construction line. The distance between those two is going to be 19, so it won't move much. And then this corner just here, and the construction line. The distance between those two is going to be 6. Move our shape a little bit. And that's all the constraining that we need to do. Okay, so they're the dimensions that you want to have in to start with. Okay, I'll zoom back out so you can see that top one as well. Make sure you've got those dimensions all set. Okay, you're probably wondering how this is going to turn into a wheel, but it'll make sense shortly. Next thing we need to do, just turn your construction lines off. And go and grab your arc tool. We're going to put an arc down the left hand side here. Okay, and the way we do that is we just click on the first point, click on the second point, just drag up a little bit there. Now the size of your arc needs to be 3 mil, so type in 3 and press enter, and you'll get an arc looking like that. Once you've drawn that arc, press escape to turn off the arc tool, and I just want you to click on this green line here, the straight one, and press delete to get rid of it. We no longer need that line. So we've now got a shape looking something like that. To finish off this shape, what we're going to do is just fill it a few edges. Okay, so up the top, we're just going to click on Fill It. The 2D fillet size up here needs to be 1.5 millimeters. And I want you to go around, and we're going to click on this bottom side, and then the side next to it. And that just fillets that edge, makes it nice and round. We're going to do the same for the edge above it. Come over here and click on this one and this one and then this one and this one. 
So we filleted four edges in total then. Just press escape when you're done and you'll see now you've got some nice smooth edges coming through there. And smooth edges coming through there as well. Okay, so that's our final shape for this sketch. So click finish sketch up the top now. And to get this looking like a wheel, all we need to do is go to revolve. Okay, now when we select revolve, we want to choose axis. And we're going to choose this construction line. We're going to revolve this shape around that construction line. And when we do, you can start to see a wheel appear. Click OK when you're done. Flip it around to this side and you'll see that we've got the start of our wheel. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Next thing we need to do is we're going to create another sketch. So start a new 2D sketch and it's going to be on this part of the circle just here. So it's basically the middle circle. Click on that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to draw three lines coming out of the center of this shape. So grab your line tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Start at the center point. Click and drag a line straight across at zero degrees. Press escape. Grab your line tool. And we're going to repeat that but this time. We're going to come out on a bit of an angle. Okay. The angle we want is 15 degrees. So you might have to press tab to switch over to the angle box and type in 15 degrees and press enter, press escape. So now you've got, you can see here it's constrained to 15 degrees, two lines drawn. I'm going to draw one final line. It's going to come straight out of the center there. So you click, drag up. Doesn't matter what size as long as it's bigger than the wheel and the degrees there, type in 45 and press enter. Press escape when you're done. You should now have three lines. Okay, the first one is 15 degrees from the bottom line. The second one is a 45 degree line coming out as well. So we've got three lines there. That looks pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is draw two circles coming out of the center of our wheel again. So grab your circle tool up the top here. Click and drag out. First circle needs to be 19 mils. Press enter. Keep the circle tool selected because we're going to draw a second one. Second circle that we draw is going to be 32 mil. Press enter. Did that come out? That didn't seem to come out. I'll just draw that again. 32 mil. There we go. Let's press escape to turn off the circle tool. You've now got this circle here drawn and this circle here drawn. Okay. And what we need to do now is do a bit of trimming. I'm going to trim quite a few of these lines away. So up the top, grab your trim tool. To start with, get rid of these three lines on the outside. Okay, so trim, trim, trim. And zooming in, get rid of these three little lines on the inside. So trim, trim, trim. Okay, now left with some lines around here. I want you to get rid of this green one altogether. It can go. Um, you've got this one here that can go. also got this little one here that can go. Now looking around the outside of the circles here, delete this, zoom out this bigger circle here, delete this bigger part of the circle here. What you're going to be left with is this little shape in here. So that, actually you might delete these two lines as well, we don't want those in there either. It's just this little shape in here that we want. It's four-sided. One, two, three, four. Every other line has been trimmed away and deleted. Okay, so as long as you've got that little shape left, you've done it right. Okay, so when you've got that little shape left, just finish the sketch. If you made a mistake, simply press Control Z, undo it, and go again. Just till you're left with that little shape. All right. Now with that little shape, what we're going to do is we're going to do an extrusion on it. And we're going to cut that out of the wheel. So just click Extrude. Choose this option here to cut it out. And we've got to click on it first, so it's selected. Um, is that cutting it out or is that adding to it? Uh, it's cutting it out, that's good. And the distance just can be all, so it cuts out everything behind it. Click OK, and you've now got a hole in your wheel. Okay, that looks good. What we want to do though is repeat this little shape all the way around in a circular pattern. Okay, and we can do that quite easily. So what we need to do is we go up to this little button here. It's called Circular Pattern. 
press on it and a little dialog box is going to appear okay excuse me what we need to do is first of all with this features select this little shape here by clicking on it once and you'll see that it highlights blue next thing we need to do is just go down and choose the rotation axis so how are we going to rotate this shape click on the outside of our wheel the big circle okay and it'll give you a preview of how that's going to look if we were to rotate around that axis we know that looks pretty good make sure your placement is set to six otherwise it won't look nice and neat like this one click OK and that chops out the rest of the holes we've now got that circular pattern around our wheel there it's looking quite good all right next thing we need to do we're going to do some more sketching so let's grab our 2d sketch button at the top and we're going to click back on that middle face the one with all the holes in it at the moment okay i want you to zoom in towards this area over here on the right okay well you're looking for this center line sometimes your wheel might be rotated and this center line might be running up the middle here um, in the vertical axis that's fine as well as long as you've got some empty space to draw a circle in that's what we're looking for so grab your circle tool now and once you've got that circle tool you can zoom in a little bit if you want and come over to this line click and drag out six millimeters and press enter okay so that should be looking pretty good then we're going to dimension this circle, scrape the dimension tool, let's click on that center point. And we can't get on that center point right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have to put in a point first of all, right in the very center there. Okay, now we can dimension this circle over to that point should be 18 millimeters distance. Type in 18, press enter. That's going to push your circle a little bit off center there. You can see that we're missing half of it, but that's fine. That's what we're looking for. All right. Oops. We'll zoom out a little bit. If you want now, you can delete this point. So click on it and just press delete. You don't need that anymore. And you can finish that sketch. Okay. But that sketch finished. I just want you to extrude that circle. So click extrude. You can see it's already extruding, which is good. The distance we want to extrude that is 9.5 mil. And press enter. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is start another 2D sketch and put it on top of that new extrusion. This time it's quite simple. We're going to draw a circle straight out of the center. And it's going to be 3 mil in size. So type in 3, press enter. Finish the sketch. Click extrude. And this time the extrusion will be three millimeters. Press OK. Zooming in, you can see now I've got a little uh, knob there on the end. Before we go any further, we'll do one more sketch on top of that new extrusion we just put in. Okay, zooming in a bit, it's yet another circle. This time, 1.5 millimeters. Press Enter. Finish the sketch extrude it now this time we're not extruding out any further we're actually going to go back the other way and cut it so click the cut option here and we're going to extrude that cut six millimeters so the distance needs to be six press ok that's going to give you a hole to put one of our pegs into later on so that's our wheel all done what we're going to do now is just give it a quick bit of color so go up to your appearance panel up the top i'm going to select wood and highlight that entire wheel this time i'm just going to go with a walnut uh, natural finish it's going to look something like that okay so that's our wheel and that was a little bit confusing there at times but hopefully it's all worked out for you and you've got that made so save that up and i'll see you in the next video